If I were to ask you to think of a marine reptile, odds are you'd say Mosasaur. Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader, and today we've got a Mosasaurus skull for you guys. Well, we actually have the whole skeleton to my left here, but as you can see, this hallway is a little bit narrow to put an entire giant sea reptile together. So we're just going to show you the skull today. Mosasaurs lived at the end of the Cretaceous period, and their closest really living relative today is monitor lizards, and think like Komodo dragon, which is pretty fitting considering these guys used to be called sea dragons. I don't know the exact species of this Mosasaurus, but I can make a few guesses. I'm not going to, but I could. Now, they used to think there was about 50 different species of Mosasaurs, but now that number is closer to five. If my cameraman, I'm talking to you, Peyton, would be so kind as to zoom in just a little bit more on these scary teeth. Here's a close-up of the Mosasaurus jaws. Now the teeth here are very scary, for one, and that's a scientific term, but they're also very diagnostic, and you can use them to figure out which species the Mosasaur is, sometimes. Now they, as you can tell from these jaws here, were very good predators. These jaws are designed for grabbing things and then tearing them apart. They'd eat things like ammonites, sharks, sea turtles, other marine reptiles, smaller Mosasaurs, pretty much anything with a pulse, so uh, remember that next time you go swimming in the ocean, 67 million years ago. All right, one of our lights just died, which means we're going to end this Fossil of the Week episode right here because I really don't want to be stuck in the dark with this guy. Make sure you guys do like and subscribe. And um, just so you know, your chances of being killed by a Mosasaur in these modern times are low, but they're never zero.